So this is one of our very old book from my bookshelf and uh, nobody reads this book anymore but it was very beautiful so I wanted to like use it in a different way instead of throwing it out. Um, so what I've done is I've used it to create a background for my junk journal. So it's like phase one where I've been creating all the base, not even a background, a base. And then this next step would be to gesso over it or paint over it, add coats and um, you know do all the fun things, use different dry mediums. So for this junk journal I've upcycled everything that I can find in my home. So this is a scrap paper. You can see some wrapping bags, gift paper bags, tissue papers that comes as gift wraps, some old canvas maps that get accumulated and collected. Again, subway paper, cookie box back covers, and some old construction papers that are not being used, brown paper bags, and these are actually beautiful patterns from one of uh, the Indian classical music festival brochure, the pamphlets. I love these patterns, so I use them here to create a background instead of throwing the pamphlets away. So this is from the book itself. I've kept it. Maybe I might paint it here later, but I love these borders, so I've kept it. So um, this is this is inside actually the cookie box, and I love the texture. So it, this kind of gave me a feeling of night sky and the moon. So I'm not sure how I'll be using it, but I've kept it because. I feel I can use it somewhere here. So similarly I've kept this page because I love these paintings so I might just paint over the words. Felt, different texture. Well you can see lots of subway papers definitely in my junk journals. These are kind of like wax papers so it gives a good texture when I paint over them. From leftover scrap papers. So some brochures, papers, brown paper bags. So from, from old books, some stamps, some images for coloring. Watercolor paper. So I'll be painting over these later. Some old artwork. Kind of bits and pieces put together. Gift paper bags. Sketchbook cover. I loved how these colors kind of matched, blue and red. And I do have these bits and pieces to again use them for this somewhere. These are like leftovers from my scrapbooking. I think this bubble wrap was also in the cookie jar. So this was in the IKEA frame, the paper from the old notebook. You go so the base is ready now now I can't wait to gesso them paint over add my drawings coats this is the base for my new junk journal so the part one I've completed covering the covering and making the bases repurposing materials so in part two probably I'll get started with painting and doing the journal layouts, creating backgrounds, adding layers of colors and coats and drawings. This has taken actually quite a lot of time. It's not a one day or one week project. I've been working on collecting these materials and putting them together probably over three, four weeks. So the next three, four weeks, I hope I'm, I get busy with painting and filling these.